More invasive giant hornets. A little off-putting when you see it that big. Uh, reported in the U.S. for the first time over the weekend. Researchers have named this the murder hornet. A number of people in our area posting on Facebook wondering if insects they found are the hornet in the headlines. Viewer Benny Nelson from Oliver Springs sending us this picture. New at 4, WATE 6 on your side reporter Jordan Brown spending the day learning more about this and sharing what you need to know. The recent spotting of the giant Asian hornet, or the murder hornet, as some are calling it in the U.S., has some worried about the future of our honeybees. The hornets are a direct threat to the honeybee population. We need all bees, so we need honeybees as well as those native bees um, to have a sustainable agricultural as well as natural landscape. Assistant Professor of Entomology and Plant Pathology at UT, Jennifer Ceruta, says the hornets were first spotted in Washington State late last year. Year. Researchers are now trying to track any queens to eradicate the hornets before they spread. Some of the, the researchers have referred to them as murder hornets because in areas like Asia, um, there have been human deaths associated with the stinging of, and the venom um, from these insects. Um, but there's also this issue of their impact on honeybee colonies, and so they can decimate honeybee colonies in a short amount of time. AC Mann is a local beekeeper. He says if the hornets get out of control, it could be devastating. Uh, it's a major part of our uh, food chain. If we don't have honeybees, we're not going to have any green stuff in the, uh, in the produce department, for instance. They pollinate cucumbers, squash, just about anything in the produce department is pollinated by honeybees. Right now, the hornets have not been found in the state of Tennessee, although there are some lookalikes. Other stinging insects, including hornets that are mistaken for the Asian giant hornet, one of the most common is the European hornet. Um, so we want to make sure that people recognize the differences between these two before they start making claims um, that they have these giant Asian hornets in their areas. In Knoxville, Jordan Brown, WATE, six on your side. Yeah, good to know the difference. So if you see an insect that you think looks like the giant Asian hornet, you can send a picture to your local extension office to help them identify what it is. So to make it easy for you, we're posting a link to county extension offices on our website, wate.com.